uh, throughout Scripture, the uh, warnings are put there, especially uh, throughout the New Covenant Scriptures or the the New Testament, as uh, most people would know it, uh, that uh, warned against idolatry. Guard yourselves from idols. You would probably wonder why is that? Because a lot of people just think, well, that's just something back then. It's just something to do with actually bowing down to an idol. Uh, but the again, the entomology of the word or where it originates of uh, idolatry, even if you uh, check into the that Webster's that I have used quite a few times, uh, it'll state that idolatry, uh, the root meaning is hired servant wages. And we know throughout scripture, or Paul warned, uh, do not be the servants of men. The uh, interesting thing about the time era that we're in, uh, you'll notice why they don't use AD on anything or anything reflecting uh, dealing with from the birth of Christ uh, as a king. They're, uh, they're mainly doing that, of course, to ignore it. Um, everything seems to reflect a before Christ, like a BC, born bankrupt in sin, uh, no hope, uh, just a debtor uh, in a terrible legal system. The, uh, the birth registration system, to an extent on this document, that statement of birth record that we've shown so many times, uh, this is symbolic of idolatry. Uh, actually offering up your child onto the god Moloch or the Baal god, uh, or we'll just say the Mammon god. Uh, Canada uh, has the, the money god. We call it uh, the Juno Awards for recordings, being rewarded for money, for how many recordings you've made that has generated uh, some good gross national product of capital. But uh, the, uh, this, this process, which leads to a certificate, Okay, eventually a certificate will eventually come out of this. Not from this, but eventually come out of the process and the ceremony of the birth registration ritual. Um, is, nothing, is nothing new. But because we are really in the era of Christ, and we don't put AD in the legal system anywhere, uh, you'll notice that it's never on the courts, never comes on documents that will state AD, which would reflect Jesus Christ. We're... We're in a era of Christ, really, but we're acting in an era that denies him. So we're actually acting as if, like, he never came. So there's no hope, no pardon, no canceling of the legal debt. Uh, but uh, the only uh, history, historical record I found within the Roman Empire that actually even dealt with certificates of any sort uh, relate to a very... Very, very interesting uh, certificate that they did issue, and it was certificates of confirmation to pagan religious practice. So could it be that this is a symbol carried on from when the practice of giving you a libelli, it was called a libelli, actually. You can look this up, which where the word libelous comes from, and there's some very easy research sites on this, so you will find it. But there were certificates of confirmation that you are denying Jesus Christ. Well, this is the absolute. If someone's carrying this and walking in that legal, that's not by chance. They're actually, we're, by using this, saying that we're in this legal system, which is opposite to grace, opposite to the kingdom of God, uh, participating in a democracy instead of what is a theocracy of God, we are demonstrating that we're carrying something that blasphemes Christ. We're, it's a ceremonial, and to the best of my research, seems to lead to these certificates of confirmation uh, to prove you've uh, done some kind of pagan practice uh, of worship uh, to an idol or a false god. So not by chance that idolatry or an idolater was defined in the dictionary as a uh, hired servant wages, which meant he was a legal prostitute. Uh, I know it's hard to hard to you know digest at times these facts and uh, why why are now people experiencing these dilemma these dilemmas out there the, the plagues that are coming from being in a legal system? God warned us. He warned us that if we did not leave or come out or escape. 
we would be receiving part of the Hur of Babylon, the harlot of Babylon uh, plagues. And so we're now seeing the sins, the debts of this false empire that exists out there. And they have all the nations deceived right now. So uh, we are experiencing this. So just when you start saying that this is such a great thing, these certificates, just try to reflect that maybe you didn't realize that they actually come from this certificate of libelli that the Romans issued uh, to confirm you denied Jesus Christ and renounced him.